You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing um, an arcade game from Taito. This is Thunder Fox. And I do think this had like a port to the Sega Mega Drive. I think I've played it before. It's been a while. So, okay, let's see how this goes. Alright, side scroller. Can be played by two players, that's nice. Alright, I have a gun, but how do I shoot it? Oh, there you go. So I need to press another button. Rolling thunder controls there. Pressing up, uh, up jump to go to the higher plane. Hey, life. Okay, I missed it. Well, that was fun. I wish I can just ride on that jeep for a long time. So this feels like you're reenacting like a scene from an 80s action movie. Got hundreds of uh, <laughs> hundreds of uh, oh come on. All right. So I was saying you got hundreds of uh, uh, footmen rushing towards you, and you're just. Uh, Killing them left and right. Effortless. What? You can die when you jump too high? Okay, destroy tank. How do I destroy? Destroy a tank with just a knife. Where is this thing's weak spot? Can I ride it? Nope. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, maybe I have to get those grenades. No! Oh, there. This should be fun if you have a second player. don't get much two-player games that are as uh, fun as this one. I mean, this feels like a completely different uh, platforming. Oh, yeah, I think Rolling Thunder also has two-player. The second one, at least. We got to ride a hovercraft something. Oh, this is great. It just turned on full on horizontal. Shoot him up. Yeah, multi genre game. Can't beat that. This automatically makes this. Uh, for me at least, essential to your collection there. It's two-player, it's multi-genre, and it controls, plays great. It looks so, uh, you know, it's a retro game. And it's not... It's hard, but it's not frustrating to play at least. Unlike some other difficult games. 
Oh, it's done. Oh, come on. Let's just keep riding this. Oh, yeah, I am still riding it. Oh, no. I hope I don't lose it if I get this thing destroyed. Yeah, this is like metal slug levels of uh, awesomeness already. Down we go. Down where? Down here? I can't fit there. Okay, so we're forced to drop this thing now. Uh, that's sad. <sighs> you did not see that. Am I supposed to jump there? Yeah, where am I supposed to go? I'm obviously not supposed to fall there. Or maybe I should get a parachute or something. Mm -hmm. Just try it again. Oh, here. Okay, you can grab. I thought those were like ladders or some sort. Or what do you call it? Elevators you could step on. It's just uh, kind of tricky to hold them. Destroy the engine. And escape from there. Wow, your super jump, your high jump can actually damage things. He's like doing a guile flash kick there. Okay, we're going Metroid style. Escape within a minute. Not that way. Well, that's funny, funny way to escape though. I suppose that hover thing will pop up somewhere here or a helicopter will catch us Contra style look at that falling people oh there's a helicopter maybe I can ride that and this is getting crazy it's hard to oh yeah Tell me you can ride that on the next level. Yeah. Alright guys, I think uh, we've seen enough. This is definitely a must-have on uh, your classic. I highly recommend it. Yeah, as always with the case with the uh, Taito arcade games, they're usually forgotten, forgotten gems. They're not as well known as, say, Konami or Capcom arcade games, where everyone seems to know and have memories of playing them. Um, yeah, Taito is another company developer publisher that I can get behind whatever they output and I think that should be it for this video you're watching 8-bit days a week and uh, please like comment subscribe this is Thunder Fox thanks for watching <laughs>